Hi everybody and uh, hello uh, after a very long time and uh, happy new year to all of you uh, all of my subscribers and whoever is watching this video uh, I would apologize that it's taken a very long time for me uh, to come back with another video uh, I've been busy in a lot of stuff but uh, hopefully uh, this time around I will be more regular so as a uh, as a first video uh, of this year uh, i tried to pick up a very interesting topic uh, which is coming into the implementation field uh, it has been uh, demoed uh, in a number of uh, countries in 5g uh, and it is already present uh, in specifications for lte as a transmission mode 5 and uh, also in uh, in your wlan uh, but the distances in the Wi-Fi are quite small, so the the massive uh, scale deployment of multi-user MIMO uh, is a one of the cornerstone of uh, 5G uh, in terms of spectrum efficiency. So we will discuss uh, some uh, basic overview of uh, what actually multi-user MIMO does, uh, how it has been conceived, what benefits it brings, and uh, actually what happens on the back end. Because I have a bit of a background in terms of uh, academia and theoretically that what happens because uh, I did work on some of this uh, in one of my stints with uh, within the university so we will discuss a little bit on that as well so first of all what is 5g multi-user MIMO so 5g multi-user MIMO actually uh, multi-user MIMO itself is a concept so I'm adding 5g just to give it uh, the scope that we are discussing it within the scope of 5G. So this is your uh, base station. We have, you can say these are the antennas, as you can say the antenna ports, and these are your users. So what multi-user MIMO does is it forms multiple beams, which are orthogonal to each other. So the concept of orthogonality is very important because the concept of orthogonality makes these waves or makes these beams uh, cancel each other out at the other receiver. So what happens is uh, you must have heard something called pre-coding. What happens is that we have two beams, for example, going towards this, one beam going towards this, and one beam going towards this. Now these beams, the concept of multi-user MIMO is that the same frequency resource, frequency time resource, for example, we, you have this as time and this is frequency. And you know that in 5G and in LTE we have resource blocks. So you have this resource block, any number of resource blocks, whichever you are transmitting in a certain number of time period that can be one millisecond or any uh, time you are using this whole resource is used by this beam by this beam and by this beams so basically you are improving your spectral efficiency into four in this particular scenario by using the concept of multi-user MIMO so you can use the same frequency time resource to transmit data to multiple users and this is your multi-user MIMO. Where the concept of MIMO comes from is the multiple antennas on your transmitting end. And you can have uh, multiple antennas on your receiving end as well. So what happens from those multiple antennas is by using a lot of antennas, it can be 64, it can be 122, it can be 32, you create these beams which are orthogonal to each other. So for example, these two beams, when these two beams come at this receiver, they are cancelled or they are they do not cause any interference to the this user. And how that is achieved is using the pre-coding matrix. A pre-coding matrix uh, you might have heard in the 3GPP specifications as well is kind of a channel estimation matrix. So what happens is, for example, in TDD, majority of your uh, these functionalities are in uh, TDD because we need to use the channel reciprocity. So, when this uh, transmit, when this uh, base station transmits to this user, this user basically estimates the channel and sends the estimate back 
to the to the BTS. Now, in the pre-coding matrix, certain weights are assigned to basic uh, from this channel estimation, and a pre-coding matrix is calculated using those weights, and that pre-coding matrix is applied. Uh, you will ha have to go into the Fourier transform and infer for in uh, inverse Fourier transform and stuff like that. And in that pre-coding matrix, uh, like those Fourier transforms are used in your OFDMA, but the different techniques are used in this pre-coding. But in the end, the beams are orthogonal to each other and you can use the same resource for transmitting it to multiple users. So that is the basic concept of uh, multi-user MIMO and this is a branch of massive MIMO. So in massive MIMO, you have a huge amount of antenna, power, antenna elements. So you can have 128, you can have 64, you can have 32. But you can use either those beams to transmit to the same user. That would basically increase your throughput for that particular user. So you can use uh, eight beams to that particular one particular user, or you can use those to serve multiple users. In the end, your spectral efficiency improves a lot because you are using the same time and frequency resource and serving multiple users or giving it to the same user who increases its throughput. Of course, uh, these things are very sensitive to your signal noise ratio. So any change in that or any change in the channel conditions will affect this and will eventually affect the performance of the UE. But in case of a concept, it's a very uh, interesting and promising concept and some of the demos have already been done for multi-user MIMO in different countries. I hope uh, you liked the video and uh, hopefully this time I will not take six months for the next video. Thank you so much.